I can't deal with this shit anymore. I'm so, so angry. I feel like the fucking universe is against me. I struggle with my business for so long, like a year almost, nothing is happening, zero money, I'm only pulling money into it and nothing is happening. I have problems in my own life, in my personal life. And like, no, nothing is going my way. Like, why? Does the universe hate me or what it is? I, I don't understand. Good. What do you mean good? Where is the good in that? There's nothing good in that. Good like good. Like something good is going to come out of all the things that you said. Yeah, yeah, I heard that, every guru says it, you just have faith and everything will come your way, but uh, for a year now, I have made zero money of my business, uh, I gain weight out of stress, my car broke down, I have to walk to work and use the bus, and where is the good in that? I don't see it, tell me, because I clearly can't see the good in everything, like you do. Who told you life is easy? Who told you starting a business is easy and the business will start making money from the start and you wouldn't go broke starting a business? Who told you that getting a good body means you get to keep it forever and even if you don't train anymore, it stays the same? Who told you that? If you struggle, good. Life is about struggle. Every struggle in life has its lesson behind it. Every struggle has something that will make you a better person. If your business is not doing good, it's not making money, good. Go work two times as hard on it and three times as smart and more efficient on it. It's your problem, man. It's your problem. That doesn't change. If you don't know what to do, go to the gym, go train a sport, go do jiu-jitsu, go do boxing. <sighs> Who told you that life is going to be this one straight line to success? Like, you want to start a business, you have this great idea and whoop, you're up and going. Like, who told you that uh, you shouldn't... Your car should, should never broke. It should broke. And it should broke exactly on the day you are the most angry. On top of everything that happened earlier that day. That is life. That is life. Nobody can predict it. That's the, that's the beauty of it. It's unpredictable. If everything uh, was like, who we are going to the moon at one go, why do we even... Why would we even bother getting out of bed? Like, and when something bad happens, like you said, your car broke, like, okay, be grateful. Be grateful for everything you have in your life. You're breathing, right? You have legs, you can go to the bus, you can walk to work. Be grateful for that. Someone, some, somewhere may not have that opportunity and think you're the richest man alive. Regardless of your situation, you have to do the work and be grateful for the ability to do the work regardless of what is happening around you. If you want your life to change for the better, if you want to be a better person, the change starts from inside out, not from outside. No one around you is guilty for what is happening to you. No one. The only person that has the fault is you. Is you. And the only person that can fix everything, that can make you a better man, is you. Because no one will come in and say, hey, let, let's fix this guy's life or this woman's life. Like, no one is going to do that. It's either you or no one. You have to depend on yourself at all times. How you feel if you are angry, 
if you're frustrated, if you feel tired, doesn't matter, nobody cares. Nobody cares what is, what are your feelings. So you might as well not care because the work that has to be done will have to be done regardless. If you're feeling angry, use that energy. Okay, angry, controlled anger is a very powerful fuel. You're feeling sad, okay, feel sad but do the work and you'll feel better after. You feel proud, okay? You're feeling sad, but you do all that work. You help your family. You take care of everyone. You're a good man or woman in, in your family. You're a good son or daughter to your parents. And after, at the end of the day, I don't think if you do all of that, you feel sad or angry or whatever, because now you're proud. If, if I have an emotion that I can choose to be for the rest of my life, it will be to be proud of myself. And friends, uh, I don't know how you feel. Maybe some of you want to be happy. Some of you want to be excited. I don't know. But if I have an emotion that I can just snatch out of somewhere and feel it for the rest of my life, it will be proud of myself. And meaning proud of myself will be taking care of my parents, taking care of all my family, helping others, helping animals because I love animals, making money, making myself proud of what I did based on the goals that I set, and also helping all the people around me and all the people that I can as much as possible, be a good person in front of me and in front of God. So proud is probably the best emotion for me. And I'm striving to be proud of myself every single day. Oh, good. You're still here. Okay. So you really want a change in your life. That's amazing. And my younger self here will tell his story and hopefully you can snatch some of our mentality and how we deal with tough times and probably become a better man. If I can help at least one person that watches this video, I'm more than grateful for that. So stay, stay till the end. Hi everyone, it is I, Tunjaro from the past, the younger, angrier and more frustrated self of me. And I came here to ask my older, wiser self, Tunjaro from the future, how to deal with the bad days and the depression in my life. And yeah. So first off, I will tell you my story so you can know a little bit more about me and so Tunjaro from the future can tell me how I can fix my situation. So my story isn't the typical uh, tough life, uh, lost everything or whatever, which I'm glad for or I think I'm glad for that. I have I had my tough moments, but they weren't as bad as some people all around the world, which I'm grateful for. And I always knew from a young age that I wanted to do something different in my life. I wanted to be unique and I want to do something big. I didn't know what at the beginning. Uh, I, did, I just know that I didn't want to work a 9 to 5, I didn't want to be in the truck business like my father, I just knew I had something in me that was different. So from there I started searching all around um, and while I was searching for that and telling everybody I will be a million, 
billionaire one day or a billionaire or whatever or I'll do this, I'll start this business, I'll start that and everybody was <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard that. We heard that. You know, from this small town in the middle of nowhere. So, be realistic. Go get a job. Stop worrying your parents. Stop uh, worrying them that they think you're crazy or something like that. Or autistic, I don't know. And, yeah, everybody just shitted on my dreams. But it didn't matter. I was searching and I went from all kinds of businesses, from delivery services, I wanted to start that kind of company, to another, to third, but finally I find my passion and my passion was, I realized that I am a good screenwriter, scriptwriter, whatever, and I decided that I wanted to write scripts, it was like enlightenment for me because I finally found what I like to do in this life and I can do it for as long as it took without getting any money or I thought so and I started writing a script for a TV series that I envisioned called Dark for Claw. I have finished that there is a video in my channel and yeah okay found my passion and everybody i heard all all around the internet the googles and saying find your passion and you wouldn't have to work a day in your life yeah right uh good uh also while i was writing my script i decided to go for the summer to work at the seaside and there I found another passion of mine to become a streamer. Good, two passions, right? I will uh, get the most money and I wouldn't work a day in my life because I enjoy everything that I do, right? Nope. No, no, no. It's not what happened. What happened is nobody told me and in those videos that, yeah, you wouldn't work a day in your life with your passion, but nobody told, told us that uh, doing your passion and only focusing on your passion and excluding all the things that you don't want to do uh, wouldn't pay you bills, wouldn't make you money. And for the most part, two, three, four years in the beginning, you wouldn't make anything until you get to the point, the holy grail of your passion, paying your bills and paying for your meals and everything. And nobody told that and they said, do your passion, but it's not like that. So from there, I slowly realized that it will take me longer to sell my script and that I slowly realized that I will have to do things that I don't want to do in order for eventually my passion to become my main income. So I started, I doubled down on the streaming part in the hopes that it will make me money, but again, it didn't. Tried to start businesses from reselling to dropshipping, opened three Shopify stores and closed them all, sadly. And I was getting angrier and angrier because in the beginning I know it was going to be tough but life show, showed me that I wasn't prepared for how tough it will be at the time I wasn't prepared and it was tough I get, got super angry I started it like one day I'm super angry I'm smashing stuff I'm like this and I started taking it on the people close to me and the people I love and it was bad and I cursed at the world like why does the universe hate me like God hate me like why what what wrong did I did but eventually I said enough is enough like I was hurting the people close to me and it was time to make a change. It 
was time to make a change and I think if if you're at the same point as me as you think you're doing all this work and nothing is happening you stay till the end and listen to what my older say self has to say and hopefully it will help you as much as it helped me right hmm first let me ask you have you found your faith your belief in a higher power in god or whatever everyone has a different perspective for what god is so have you found that Mm, I believe in God, I believe in some higher power, but if we are not on the same page, no, I don't think I do. Why? Okay, so let's start from there. So, after all the frustration, the anger, the breaking of stuff, the uncontrolled emotion and everything, we decided that it time for a change and first thing I did when Tunjarov came to seek help was I came to him as a vision enlightenment to show him that it isn't God's fault and that God is always with him and I wanted to show him that he must be first grateful to God or the higher power whatever he believes in that they are always watching and helping with everything he does they are always there to support him because God is always watching but I wanted to explain to him the problem that he thinks is the universe and that he thinks that when something bad happens, when his car breaks down or he, his phone breaks down or something breaks down, or the little things. When this happens, he, he blamed the universe, he got angry, he got frustrated and he started remembering that all the other things that aren't going his way and it became this big soup of anger and anxiousness. So. I explained to him that you have to believe and you have to always have faith because God is always there and God is always watching but the problem is there are two people on the phone listening at all time and sometimes the devil sneaks his way to and stumbles you so you can fall to the ground and does it in a because the devil is sneaky he does it in a way that you start blaming God for what happened but God is always trying to help you always is there always is doing his best to help you but the devil sometimes manages to sneak attack you and that you have to know that even this little setback or this little struggle that you came to is just <coughs> the devil staying there and trying to push you from your faith <clears throat> and make you curse at God or whatever and that you have to always hold dear to your faith whatever it might be if you're a Muslim, if you're a Christian, if you're if whatever, it doesn't matter if you believe in good things if you're a good person and if your faith makes you a good person for yourself and for the people around you I support that, it doesn't matter yeah, after that I decided that I will be grateful for everything in my life, for everyone around me and for the good and for the bad, meaning the lessons, but everything happens for a reason. After that I decided to remind him that However much you think you're doing, you can always do more. You can always do more good for someone unpaid in whatever way. You can always do more work. You can always 
make more money you can always feel more proud of yourself let's say regardless of the struggle so struggle will be there it's like it's like the air the air will be there regardless you're not stopping uh, doing what you're doing because the air is there, right? Or the rain or whatever. They're there, but you go to it in a way every single day without even noticing it. And that's my philosophy on how you should think about the struggle. Yeah, the struggle is there. You accept it. Learn from it. Take all the good that it is in the struggle because there is plenty of good in struggle. You get everything from the struggle and the bad thing you cut out and you move to it. You push through the wall. And if your head hurts, open that laptop, do the work. If your head hurts, go go to your work. Go into the car, go go do the work. If you feel sore, go to the gym, lift some weights. Doesn't matter. However you feel, it doesn't matter. Go do the work and I promise you, you will feel better. I, on that point, I don't believe anymore in depression because I just did... Sorry, he doesn't believe because he just did the work. He reminded himself that it doesn't matter you keep yourself up you sometimes you have to come to the bed and lift your own self from the bed slap with the back of the hand and get your ass to work get your ass to doing something for yourself maybe even if it sounds selfish or for the people around you your community whatever it might be and yeah, you can always do more. You need you need the struggle in life. You need the struggle because like there was a saying, I think 50 Cent said it. Uh, the sunshine wouldn't feel so nice if it wasn't for rain, right? You you wouldn't be able to notice the good if it, it was all good, right? So if it's not all good, you have to live to the annoying parts one piece of advice that I can give you is learn to do the work regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the situation and regardless of how you feel. Leave your emotions, leave the emotions out and then you start seeing the progress, seeing the good, being more happy, more proud of yourself. Isn't that right, Tunjarov? You can be closer to the point uh, after the enlightenment, after I realized that, I realized that I have the most precious things and that I am, sh I am actually richer than I thought before. I have the most amazing family, parents, uncles and everyone that, that are supporting me. At all time, even though they aren't rich money-wise, they are helping me with everything they can to all their power. Now, after that, I had, I have the most wonderful woman to me, helping, caring, understanding, always supporting me in every wild idea I have, in every new venture that I go to. Uh, every idea I have, she's my first cheer, cheerleader, whatever you might say it, that, and she's in me, with me, in every aspect of my life, helping me reach greatness together. Uh, when I realized actually how rich I am, that I can walk, I can breathe air, I woke up this morning, and I... And if I woke up tomorrow, I'm the richest man alive. That I can go for a run, that I can go lift 
ways that I can go do jujitsu or whatever, I realized how rich I am and my goals. My goals, I realized that I don't have to rush anything. I don't have to rush success to happen tomorrow. Yeah, I know I have bills to pay, but I can do something to fix that and wait because it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Fast come, fast go, if you know what I mean. Just trying to be a better self in front of the mirror and in front of God every single day. And I took full responsibility. It wasn't my neighbor's fault. It wasn't my co-workers. It wasn't my wife's. It wasn't my dog's fault. It was my fault. It was my responsibility because I'm the only man who can fix this up and I'm the only man who can fuck this up. And I, when I realized, realized that, I realized also that the work that I'm doing can be doubled every single day. I can do more. I can learn more. I'm a student of the game. Every single day is a new day, new opportunity to do better, to make more, to be a good person to everyone around you and in front of God watching. And after that, everything started really, really started to get going good for me. Money wise, happily, happiness wise, uh, proudness, let's say, I became more proud of myself and everything started to get good from that point forward because I realized that I'm the one who can fix this up and un uh, until I was blaming everything, whatever it might be, even if I blame the fridge. As soon as I stopped doing that and started pointing the finger here, everything started coming together and hear me out on this guys, whatever you're going to, it might be worse than what I go to, it might be not, whatever it might be, realize that it's, it may not be your fault, but it's your responsibility to fix it. I mean, Mr. Jimmy won't come to and say, oh, why don't we fix Tunjarov's situation? No, no, uh, it's Tunjarov that has to fix Tunjarov's situation. And when you realize that, you start working, what, whatever, There's, there will be struggle all your life. And struggle is a very good thing, actually. It's a very good and nice thing because it teaches you so much things that winning will wouldn't, can't even imagine teaching it. And you have to realize that struggle is part of life. It will co come to you at one point of your life and it's in inevitable. So you have to consistently and do the work regardless of what is happening around you. Because what is happening around you is substantial. What is happening inside of you is what matters. Because if you're calm, focused, and determined inside, what uh, is happening outside, the problems, it, it cannot get inside. As long as it cannot get inside, you're good. And that is what I learned. I'm so proud and so happy that you came to be at this position, my boy. And I know we know that, but I'm going to say it again. God is always watching and He will reward you for all your hard work, consistently striving to be a better person and consistently trying to be a better man for your wife, better son, better friend for your friends, and a better father for your pup. You just know that. You have the faith. And for all of you watching at home, God will reward everyone that 
gives their best and is always striving to be a better person and always doing good in front of everybody or when nobody's watching you being faithful you being a good person and you doing the best that you can and final piece of advice my friends for me is as my older self said do the work regardless and if something wouldn't matter after two years let's not make it matter today right so leave it. if you're not going to uh, take care If you're not going to care after two years, why care now, right? Just do it right now. May God be with you. Be a better person. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe if you want. And hopefully leave a comment down below if this video helped at least one person. At least one person. I just hope for that to help at least one person. And... See you in the next video. Bye-bye, bye-bye.